Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how to easily create a responsive photo gallery. This is the example that we're going to be building, but of course you can add as many images as you like. And what makes it so cool is that it appears that these images are just aligning with each other. But in reality, we're using a technique here that is making it appear that way. All right, let's get into this tutorial. All right, guys, let's go ahead and get started. The first thing we want to do is create a class with a name of container. And in here, we're going to add two things. The first thing we're going to add is an H2 with a class name of title. And this is going to say responsive photo gallery. All right. And the second thing we're going to add is the photo gallery itself. So let's create a class with the name of photo gallery. And in here, we're going to add three things, three columns that is. So let's create a class with the name of column. And inside of each column, we're going to add three images. Of course, you can add more if you want. So I'm going to create a class with the name of photo. And inside of that, I'm going to create an image tag. For the source, go ahead and add whatever images that you want. I'm going to be adding these images from Unsplash. So you can go ahead and just copy and paste those into your project. I'll leave this list in the description. All right. So we now have one photo inside of our column but of course we're going to be using three for this example so i'm going to copy this photo twice and now we have one column with three images but we're going to need a total of three columns so we can go ahead and copy this twice so shift all down twice one two all right so now we have three columns each with three images and currently if you look at this it's going to appear like we just have one big column with the same image all right so i'm going to go ahead and all right and i'm going to go ahead and change these so we can have a different image for each All right, now we have different images for each one of the columns. All right, let's move on to the CSS. <clears throat> and the first thing we wanna do here is remove the default padding and margin. So we're gonna set both of those to zero. All right, for our container, we want it to be responsive on big screen sizes. So I'm gonna set the max width to 1,224 pixels and we're also going to set a width of 90%. So when the screen size is smaller than 1,224 pixels, we're going to be taking up 90% of the user's screen. And of course, we're going to be using margin auto because we are using a width of 90%. So we want it to be in the center. And let's go ahead and just add some padding as well on the top and the bottom of 40 pixels. Now we're going to create a little bit of space between the title and the photo gallery. So let's do margin bottom to rim. All right, let's move on to the photo gallery. And for this, all we have to do is use display flex because currently it appears that we have one big column, but in reality we have three columns, but we want them to be side by side. So to do this, all we have to do is use display flex so let's do display flex and let's also add some gaps so the columns aren't so close together. I'm going to go ahead and go with 20 pixels. All right. So now if we look at this again, you can see that we have our three columns and they have a little bit of gap between them. All right. Moving on to our columns. So what we want to do is use display flex with 
a flex direction of column that way each image within the column is stacked on top of each other and let's also use a gap of 20 pixels so there's a little bit of padding between each image all right now for the images themselves let's go with a width of 100 height of 100 and let's add a little bit of border radius Let's go with five pixels and we're also going to use object fit cover. All right. And now we have exactly what we wanted. The only problem right now is that if we make the screen size small like this, the grid still looks like this. But at this point, we want it to be one large column. So what we want to do is add a media query. So let's do add media at a max width of 768 pixels we want to make our photo gallery into one large column so to do that we're going to do flex direction column All right so now when we're at 768 pixels or less we're going to get one large column and of course if we look at the screen like this it's going to show it like this all right and that's going to be it for this video please make sure to hit the like button if you found this useful and i'll see you guys in the next one Thanks for watching.